being back at Sweden Rock is fantastic. This is it holds some dear memories for me, both the country and this festival. It was the second show that I ever played with the band. Uh, you know, and it was one of those sort of pivotal moments where you realise this is real and this is happening in such a beautiful country and with so many metal heads that love their metal, they love Priest. And so it's a pleasure and an honour to be back here. But that's the thing with this country, uh, because I've heard a rumour that you lived here in Sweden once. You met a Swedish girl, you moved and you lived here when you were like 15, 20 years old. And you did the most Swedish thing that you can do. You work as a corner with Jobbe. You were selling sausages. Is this true? And how was that? It was absolutely true. Um, and it was great fun. We used to, initially, when I first started working as a corner with Jobbe, we used to travel around festivals. So we'd get in the car, we'd get like the, the lorry, and we'd put a load of sausages in the back, and we'd travel out to different towns around Sweden and play different, uh, serve different festivals. So there'd always be, you know, interesting people and interesting events to be a part of. And it was, it was a great, I put on quite a bit of weight at the time now, because I used to eat all the sausages, you know. As we know, there's nothing better than a, a Swedish hot dog. Do you speak any Swedish? Yes, you know I do. It's always embarrassing when someone asks you if, if you speak it. It's usually when I, if I've had a few beers and I get a bit angry, then I'll start speaking Swedish if, the, if I've got Swedish friends around. But do you, you have know. a favorite Swedish word? I can't, I can't say it here. No, but I, I think Varm Korv is quite a funny <laughs> word. <laughs> you know, Korv Gubbe is another one. Anything with Korv in, in, the, in the word is funny, I think. As you can see, it's a funny word. So, yeah. But, and tonight we'll be playing at the Sweden Rock Festival. What, what happens next? We go back to Copenhagen tomorrow for a show with Megadeth. So it's Priest and Megadeth in Copenhagen. And then we're out on this run in Europe until the end of August. And then we go back to the States, and uh, then we've got another couple of things coming up, which I can't talk about yet. They're all in the works, you know. Why not? Well, the, you know, it, it might give away the surprises, but we're, we're looking at getting around the world with this tour. So we just need to work out the finer points and the routing and the, the logistics, and then we're going to, you know, maybe announce some other stuff later on in the year. But for now, it's mm. Europe, um, and then the States again with Deep Purple mm. in um, September. Uh, nu har man ingenting att säga. Ja, jag har tvingat honom för att säga att ja. folk med att prata svenska. För intervjun, det är inte live längre, det är inte radio och då bara, men kom igen då, för du kan ju prata svenska. Ja, det kan jag. Det har jag men, det, men, alltså... men hur kommer det sig att du kan svenska då? Jag lärde mig ju. Ja, nu... <laughs> men alltså, det var så att i början så börjar man med typ med korvarna ja. och typ tio spänn eller... Och så det är bara det, man, man, typ, man måste äh, kunna prata liksom. Ja. Och sen, man bara lär sig, eller hur?